Alright guys, here you have it, my 9.8 mod pack. It came out only a day late this time, or a day or two. Uh, I didn't have time to push one out yesterday because, well, I had school during the day and then at night I had to go to my parents' place, hour and a half away, because it was my birthday on the 27th, so woo, 22 years old. But anyways, here you go with the mod pack. Uh, there will be instructions on how to install it at the end, but right now, here is exactly what it includes. So as you can see up on the top, there is a damage counter there. That counts how much damage you've done throughout the entire battle, and it tells you what tank you've done it to. Towards the bottom, in the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see that there is also another damage indicator down there. That one shows how much damage you have taken, and it uh, shows you some neat things about the shells that have hit you. As you can see, the damage indicator for all your modules and everything in the bottom left corner is a little bit different. That's because I'm using a slightly different mod pack this time that makes it look a little bit different. I may change that again in the future, I'm not sure, but if I do change it and I do update the mod pack when updates come along or break it or whatever, then there will be uh, exactly where you download this one. That version will be updated there as well as soon as I can get to it. And if you decide you don't want all that junk down in the bottom left corner, including the entire damage panel, the modified damage indicator as well as the damage counter in the bottom left corner there, then there is also a version of my mod pack available without it. And of course, returning to my mod pack is the artillery battle assistant. What this allows you to do is change the view so you can see something like this when you're shooting at your enemies rather than just the normal top-down view, which is great because you can see exactly where that shell on the enemy tank hit, and it does help you aim over top of things like cliffs, or houses, or hills, or other things like that. Remember, you can only enable this when you're in artillery, and you enable it by when you're in your normal artillery view, which you get to by hitting shift, you also hit the G key. That'll toggle it on and off. Now that you know exactly what my mod pack does, here's how to install it. First off, you're going to want to go to my website, spacegk.com slash downloads, and you'll see that there's two options. One for the full mod pack with XVM, the artillery battle assistant, and the damage panel, and one with just XVM and the artillery battle assistant. If you don't want to use the artillery battle assistant, you won't even know it's there, so that's why there's not a version without it. If you do want to install just the 9.8 Battle Assistant or just the Damage Panel, then there's links to do that as well, and they'll take you to their respective web pages. And down towards the bottom, there's a link on these pages, so you can get, say, the Battle Assistant here. Make sure you get the 9.8 version, not the 9.7 version. So once you know what version you want, just go ahead and click the Download button beside that. It'll download, and once that's downloaded, you can go ahead and go to where you're going to have to install the mod, which by default is in your C drive, in the Games folder, in World of Tanks, and then you're going to want to have it right here. So we'll go ahead now and open up the file we downloaded. And you can see it's right there. So we're going to go now and just open up that zip file that we downloaded, and we can see there's a ResMods folder here and a ResMods folder over in our World of Tanks directory. Now we can just drag and drop that over there. It'll ask us, do you want to merge this folder? You can say yes. If it asks you if you want to replace anything, then you probably have an old mod pack installed. Yeah, I would recommend you delete everything inside the res mods folder over here before you do this copy. Now at this point, the mod pack is actually installed, but there's still a few little things you might want to do. You're going to want to go ahead and go over to modxvm.com slash en for the English version, and you're going to have to activate your services. Now you're probably going to have to log in with your Wargaming account. Go ahead and do that just as you would on the Real World of Tanks website, and then click Activate Services. You'll see there's a settings button, which under here you can choose all kinds of different things. You can choose all the st statistics you want to be displayed, and uh, this is what I've decided to do. One thing you can do is, this with a slider, choose which flags will dis be displayed beside players' names. This setting would resemble whether or not they're in one of the top clans in World of Tanks, and you can see exactly how many of the top clans are listed right there by just in the slider. I like it at zero because I like a nice clean layout. All right, and there you have it. The mod pack should now be installed and ready to go. Make sure that when you do install this, that the game is completely closed as well as the game launcher. Otherwise, you could run into some issues. Just as a side note, if you do decide you want to uninstall the mod pack, go ahead and delete everything inside this res mods folder, but make sure after you delete everything, you recreate an empty folder called 0.9.8. Otherwise, your game will not run. And there you have it. That's about that for the mod pack. If it didn't work for you, just go ahead, watch the video again, make sure you did everything correctly because you probably missed something. Uh, otherwise, I will be pushing regular updates if the mod does get broken. I'll be putting updates here on this page as quick as I can at the same link. Um, so if you have any issues, feel free to try it again. 
for example, when they come up with the domination game mode shortly, that'll probably break it. So if it you're having issues and I haven't updated it yet, then just go ahead and uninstall it temporarily. And yeah, but this mod pack should work for any server, regardless of if you're on RU or EU or North America like I am, or if you're using the standard or high definition client, it should work for you unless they release a big update like that domination game mode they want to come up with. Anyways guys, hopefully this all works out for you. Feel free to talk to me in the comments below if you feel that you need to, if you have some issues with it, and I'll try to help you out. But thanks for watching, hope you enjoy the mod pack, see you later.